السلام علیکم لیکچر نمبر ٹو کیل پلس ون کے ساتھ میں حاضر ہوں پھر سے امید ہے پہلا لیکچر انجوائبل ہوگا آپ کے لیے یو انجوائڈ دیٹ لیکچر آئی سرٹن ڈیڈ تو بفور وی اسٹارٹ ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ لیکچر نمبر ٹو تھوڑا سا ریویو کرتے ہیں کہ پہلے لیکچر میں ہم نے کیا کچھ دیکھا اور کیا باتیں کیں پہلے لیکچر میں ہم نے دیکھا کہ ریئل نمبرس کیا ہوتے ہیں ایبسٹریکٹلی اسپیکنگ کہ سیٹ تھیوریٹکلی واٹ آر ریئل نمبرس یہ بھی دیکھا ہم نے کہ وٹ از دی آرڈر آف اے ریئل نمبر اور اس کے علاوہ ہم نے ان اکوالٹیز دیکھیں وی آلسو سو واٹ از اے واٹ وی کال این انٹرول تو یہ کچھ چند چیزیں تھیں جو ہم نے دیکھی تھیں امید ہے آپ اس سب کو یاد رکھیں گے اٹس ویری امپورٹنٹ اسٹف انٹروڈکٹری لیکچر تھا بیسک اسٹف فرام ایل جبرا تو اس کو سب کو امید ہے آپ سب یاد رکھیں گے اس کو آئیے اب بات کرتے ہیں لیکچر نمبر ٹو کی تو اس لیکچر میں دیکھتے ہیں اب ہم کیا باتیں کریں گے تو سب سے پہلے آپ کو انٹروڈکشن دیتا ہوں میں کہ واٹ ایگزیکٹلی از دیٹ ویل بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ان دس لیکچر بیسک آئیڈیا جو ہے اس لیکچر کا وہ ہے ایبسلوٹ ویلیوز کہ واٹ از این ایبسلوٹ ویلیو آف اے نمبر دیٹ ول بی دا فرسٹ تھنگ ویل سی اس کے بعد ہم یہ دیکھیں گے کہ ایبسلوٹ ویلیو کے ساتھ ساتھ کچھ انہیں کوالٹیز اکر کرتی ہیں میتھمیٹکس میں ان کو کیسے سالو کیا جاتا ہے پھر ہم ایک بہت ہی امپورٹنٹ تھیورم دیکھیں گے جو ریلیٹ کرتا ہے ایک اسکوئر روٹ دا پازیٹو اسکوئر روٹ آف اے نمبر کوئی ایک ریئل نمبر کے اس ایبسلوٹ ویلیو آف دیٹ نمبر کے ساتھ یعنی یو وانٹ ٹو ریلیٹ دی پازیٹو اسکوئر روٹ آف اے ریئل نمبر ود دی ایبسلوٹ ویلیو آف دیٹ ریئل نمبر یہ بھی ایک چیز ہم دیکھیں گے اور اس کے بعد میں آخر میں سب سے ایک بہت ہی زبردست کہنا چاہیے اور بہت ہی امپورٹنٹ تھیورم میتھمیٹکس کا ہے اور وہ ہے دی ٹرائنگل ان اکوالٹی دیٹ ول بی دا تھرڈ تھنگ اور دا لاسٹ تھنگ ول سی ایٹ دا اینڈ آف دس دس لیکچر تو یہ کچھ انٹروڈکشن تھی سارے لیکچر کی تو شروع کرتے ہیں ایبسلوٹ ویلیو سے ایبسلوٹ ویلیو آف اے ریئل نمبر کہ اس کی کیا ڈیفینیشن ہے کیا مقصد ہے تو اس کی میں ڈیفینیشن آپ کو دیتا ہوں بھی اسکرین پہ آ رہی ہے واٹ از دی ایبسلوٹ ویلیو آف اے ریئل نمبر ڈیفینیشن از دی ایبسلوٹ ویلیو از ڈیفائنڈ ایکچولی ان ٹو ویز اور اسکرین پہ اب آپ یہ دیکھیے گا اٹس ڈیفائنڈ ایز اے دی ایبسلوٹ ویلیو آف دا ریئل نمبر اے از ایکول ٹو اے ایف اے از بگر دین ایکول ٹو زیرو یا ایف اے از گریٹر دین ایکول ٹو زیرو اور ان ادر ورڈس جسے ہم کہتے ہیں کہ اٹس اے پازیٹو نمبر یعنی یا تو زیرو ہوگا اے یا پھر ایک پازیٹو نمبر دوسری اس کی ڈیفینیشن جو ہے وہ ہے دی ایبسلوٹ ویلیو آف اے از ایکول ٹو مائنس آف اے اور مائنس آف دی ریئل نمبر اے ایف اے ہیپنس ٹو بی اے نمبر لیس دین زیرو یعنی اے ایک نیگیٹو نمبر ہے تو یہ ڈیفینیشن ہے آپ کی ایبسلوٹ ویلیو کی تھوڑی سی ٹیکنیکل لگتی ہے مشکل لگتی ہے لیکن اس کی ایگزامپل ہم کریں گے تو آئی تھنک ول بیکم ویری آبویس کہ بہت ہی سمپل سی وہ ہے ڈیفینیشن اور بڑے آرام سے اس کو استعمال کیا جا سکتا ہے تو میتھمیٹکس میں عام طور پہ یہی ہوتا ہے کہ سم تھنگ لکس ڈیفیکلٹ ان لیس یو لک ایٹ ون ایگزامپل اینڈ تھنگس ٹر ناٹ ٹو بی ویری ایزی تو بجائے ڈرنے کے کسی چیز سے میں ابھی سے بتا رہا ہوں تاکہ ہم سب تیار رہیں کہ بہت سی چیزیں ہم دیکھیں گے میتھمیٹکس میں آگے چل کے بلکہ جب کیلکولس کی بات ہوگی دے مائٹ لک ڈیفیکلٹ بٹ ونس یو ٹرائی دیم یو نو یو ول سی دیٹ دے ویری ایزی تو آگے چلتے ہیں اس کی ایک ایگزامپل دیکھتے ہیں کہ واٹ This definition means in terms of evaluating the absolute value of a real number. اس سے پہلے کہ ہم ایک ایگزامپل دیکھیں اس کی ایبسلوٹ ویلیو کی ایک چھوٹا سا ٹیکنیکل پوائنٹ ہے جو میں کلیئر کرنا چاہتا ہوں ایکسپلسٹلی آئی وانٹ ٹو ڈیفائن دس اور یو نو اسٹیٹ اٹ اب وہ پوائنٹ یہ کہ ایک ٹرمینالوجی ہے بیسکلی ہم کبھی کبھی دیکھیں گے کہ اگر ہم بات کرتے ہیں کسی ریئل نمبر کی جو زیرو سے بڑا ہے یا اس کے برابر ہے In other words, if a real number A happens to be greater than or equal to zero, تو ہم کہتے ہیں کہ یہ نمبر نان نگیٹو ہے یعنی یہ پازیٹو بھی ہو سکتا ہے یا زیرو کی برابر تو اس کو ایک ٹرمینالوجی ہے کہ ہم کہتے ہیں یہ نان نگیٹو نمبر ہے لیکن اگر کوئی نمبر اسٹرکٹلی گریٹر دین زیرو ہو یعنی اے از گریٹر دین زیرو تو ہم کہتے ہیں کہ یہ نمبر پازیٹو نمبر ہے تو یہ صرف ایک ڈسٹنکشن ہے جہاں پہ ان اکوالٹی میں اکوالٹی الاؤڈ ہوتی ہے زیرو کے ساتھ تو ہم اسے نان نگیٹو کہتے ہیں نمبر اور جہاں پہ اسٹرکٹلی گریٹر دین زیرو ہوتا ہے ہم اس کو پازیٹو کہتے ہیں یہ ایک چھوٹی سی ٹرمینالوجی اور ٹیکنیکل بات ہے جو آگے چل کے ہم استعمال کریں گے تو میں نے کہا تھوڑا سا مینشن اس کے بارے میں کر دیا جائے ضرور آئیے اب دیکھتے ہیں ایگزامپل کیا ہے ایبسلوٹ ویلیو کی ایگزامپل ہے جی کہ ایبسلوٹ ویلیو آف فائیو ایکولز فائیو ایبسلوٹ ویلیو آف نگیٹو فور اوور سیون is equal to the negative of negative 4 over 7, which happens to be 4 over 
तो इसमें पहली वाली एग्जाम्पल अगर आप देखें कि एब्सोलूट वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव इज इक्वल टू फाइव इसका क्या मतलब है वो सिंपल सी बात है टू एवेल्यूएट दूट वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव वी शुड प्रॉब्लम वर्क विद द डेफिनेशन राइट विच वी जस्ट स्टेटेड तो उसकी डेफिनेशन में अगर आप देखें तो उसमें आप नोट कीजिए कि फाइव किस कैटेगरी में आता है इज इट ए नंबर ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो और लेस देन जीरो ऑब्वियसली इट्स ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो लिहाजा बाई डेफिनेशन the absolute value of 5 will be just that number itself 5 that's how we defined it uh lekin jab hum next example dekhte hain jisme humne absolute value li thi negative 4 over 7 ki to usme by definition agar aap note kare ki negative 4 over 7 is less than 0 to uske hisab se absolute value ki definition kehti hai ki we should multiply that number by a negative 1 that's exactly what the second part of the definition said ki agar koi number जीरो से छोटा है या इन अदर वर्ड्स नेगेटिव है यू जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई दैट नंबर विद नेगेटिव वन तो हम वो करते हैं यहाँ पे तो वी सी दैट नेगेटिव वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नेगेटिव फोर ओवर सेवन या नेगेटिव ऑफ नेगेटिव फोर ओवर सेवन टर्न्स आउट टू बी पॉजिटिव फोर ओवर सेवन क्योंकि नेगेटिव वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई नेगेटिव इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव दैट्स हाउ वी गेट द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल और तीसरी एग्जाम्पल थी द एब्सोट वैल्यू ऑफ जीरो इसमें कोई बड़ी बात नहीं uh, क्योंकि या इसके अंदर याद करें कि देखें अगर आप नोट कीजिए के एब्सोलूट वैल्यू ऑफ ए वॉज डिफाइंड टू बी ए इफ ए वॉज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू जीरो तो यहाँ पे चूंकि हमारी ए की वैल्यू जीरो है तो वी जस्ट गेट एब्सोलूट वैल्यू ऑफ जीरो इक्वल जीरो तो नथिंग बिग नो बिग डील बेसिकली नथिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट और नथिंग फैंसी हैपनिंग जस्ट ट्रिवियल स्टफ तो इस एब्सोलूट वैल्यू का मकसद क्या है यानी अभी हमने एग्जाम्पल्स देखी तो नोट कीजिए कि डेफिनेशन को मद्देनजर रखते हुए इफ यू कीप दी डेफिनेशन इन माइंड तो नोट कीजिए कि अगर आप किसी भी नंबर की एब्सोलूट वैल्यू लें तो रिजल्ट हमेशा पॉजिटिव आता है यानी अगर आपका ओरिजिनल नंबर जिसकी आप एब्सोलूट वैल्यू ले रहे हैं जैसे हमने फाइव की ली तो रिजल्ट उसका आया पॉजिटिव फाइव यानी द सेम नंबर इफ द नंबर वॉज पॉजिटिव टू बिगेन विद द रिजल्ट आफ्टर यू टेक द एब्सोलूट वैल्यू विल बी पॉजिटिव और इसी तरह से अगर आप एक नेगेटिव नंबर लेते हैं और उसकी एब्सोलूट वैल्यू लें तो उस एब्सोलूट वैल्यू का मकसद होता है कि वो सारी जो जो आपका नंबर नेगेटिव था उसका नेगेटिव साइन जो है उसको स्ट्रिप अवे कर दे द एब्सोलूट वैल्यू स्ट्रिप्स अवे द नेगेटिव साइन ऑन अ नेगेटिव नंबर सो द रिजल्ट इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव ये तो एक बेसिक uh, सा मतलब अंडरस्टैंडिंग uh, के लिए एक uh, इसका एक्सप्लेनेशन थी कि एब्सोलूट वैल्यू असल में करती क्या है हमने डेफिनेशन देखी बड़ी अच्छी डेफिनेशन है काइंड ऑफ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड लेकिन आप उसकी एग्जाम्पल्स करें तो रिजल्ट ये निकला कि जस्ट बाई यूजिंग द डेफिनेशन एन एब्सोलूट वैल्यू टेक्स अ रियल नंबर एंड ऑलवेज Outputs a uh, positive number. एक uh, inequality यहाँ पे uh, मैं लिख रहा हूँ screen के ऊपर इसको आप देख लीजिए ये एक inequality है कि जी negative if you take a real number, the negative of that real number a is less than equal to the absolute value of a, and the absolute value a of a is less than equal to positive a. Uh, it's a cute स्टेटमेंट इन इक्वालिटी आई लेट यू प्रूव इट योर सेल्फ इसको हम प्रूव नहीं करते लेकिन इस प्री सिंपल है डेफिनेशन इस्तेमाल करते हुए एब्सोट वैल्यू की आप शो कर सकते हैं कि ये सही रिजल्ट है अच्छा एक छोटा सा एक टेक्निकल सा पॉइंट और जिसके बारे में बात करते हैं वो ये है कि अगर आपके पास पॉजिटिव नंबर एक है अगर मैं कहता हूँ एक रियल नंबर है ए तो हमें मालूम नहीं कि ये ए तो है लेकिन क्या ये नेगेटिव है ये पॉजिटिव है आई मीन अगर मैं कहता हूँ ए इज अ रियल नंबर इट कुड बी माइनस थ्री इट कुड बी पॉजिटिव थ्री डिपेंड्स ऑन वॉट द वैल्यू इज लिहाजा मकसद कहने का यह है कि इफ आई से ए इज अ रियल नंबर डोंट असूम ऑटोमेटिकली दैट्स अ पॉजिटिव नंबर जस्ट बिकॉज देर इज नॉट ए नेगेटिव साइन अलॉन्ग साइड विद दैट ए मिसाल के तौर पर अगर मैं कहता हूँ कि फोर तो वॉट आई रियली मीन इज प्लस फोर पॉजिटिव फोर लिहाजा ये एक पॉजिटिव नंबर होगा लेकिन अगर मैं कहता हूँ माइनस थ्री तो ऑब्वियसली देर इज अ साइन अलॉन्ग साइड विद दैट So that will be a negative number. So really, what I'm saying when I say negative three, I'm saying positive parentheses minus three. So that's how you basically distinguish between a positive and a real number uh, when you're given an abstract variable for that number. So again, वो ही बात कि अगर मैं कहता हूँ a is a real number, it could be positive or negative. यानी don't be tempted to say that a is negative. If I say a negative a. Uh, it may be that the final result is positive because if a is negative then minus a will be a positive number and if a was if i gave you just a by itself and here a happens to be a negative number then the final result will be a minus uh, a 
or negative number. So just a little technical point we need to keep in mind, just a subtle thing. Um, hopefully, we'll keep it in mind when we talk about um, absolute value further, because this small point creates a lot of problems for some students. Ke liye. So we'll keep that in mind. Let's do an example. An example karte, uh, involving absolute values. So this example is that find the um, or solve the following equation. Absolute value of x plus 3 is equal to 4. So, we all know that if I have an equation of x plus 3 equals 4, I would have taken 3 from the other side and I would have subtracted 3 from both sides and the result would have been x equals 1. But here is absolute value involved. So, how do we solve this? Uh, looks intimidating, but it's not going to happen. As long as you remember the definition of absolute value, everything is easy. मुझे खुद याद पड़ता है जब मैं यही कोर्स लेता था एल्जेब्रा का और बिगिनिंग फर्स्ट कोर्स इन कैलकुलस तो फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई कुड नॉट कम टू टर्म्स विद एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू और उसकी वजह सिर्फ ये थी कि मैं डेफिनेशन याद नहीं रखता था यानी ये कहना तो बड़ा आसान है कि जी एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ अ नंबर इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव बट व्हेन यू सॉल्व एग्जांपल्स यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द डेफिनेशन तो गो के मैंने आपको थोड़ी देर पहले कहा कि बताया कि एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू बेसिकली गिव्स अ पॉजिटिव नंबर नो मैटर व्हाट द इनपुट इज uh, you should also keep in mind that that's an easy way to work with absolute value sometimes. But when you solve uh, equations involving or inequalities involving absolute value, we have to work with the definition of absolute value. So let's do that. So question is that solve x plus 3 absolute value equals 4. So let's start solving that. Here are some steps. Uh, definition, if you remember, remember that uh, x minus 3 will play the role of that real number a in the definition. So when we use that definition, we get x minus 3 absolute value will equal to just x minus 3 if x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. And it will equal to minus of the quantity x minus 3. I have parentheses because it's the minus goes is multiplying the whole quantity x minus 3. And that will happen if x minus 3 is less than 0. ये मैंने कैसे किया? Basically by definition of absolute value. तो अगर अभी इसको hopefully आपने कहीं लिख लिया हो जल्दी से या textbook में लिखा होगा definition क्या है उसको refer कर लीजिए and note that this is exactly what will happen. Let's move on. Just by the definition of absolute value of a real number, what can we say now? Well, just by that definition we can say that what we have written down on the screen and now let's try to solve it. We have two equations to solve. In the first part, we have that absolute value of x minus 3 is equal to quantity x minus 3. So, this means that x minus 3 will equal to 4 in the first case. Or in the second case, it will be minus of the quantity x minus 3 will equal 4. Because you remember that the original problem was that absolute value of x minus 3 should equal 4. So, working with that, let's see if we can solve this. But this is very easy. It's very easy. In the first case, we have x minus 3 equals 4. Very simple. Add 3 to both sides and you get x equals 7. In the second case, we have minus of the quantity x minus 3 equals 4. So, this is solve very easy. You multiply throughout the equation that's given to you by a negative one uh, to simplify things a little bit. And you have result that x minus 3 equals minus 4. And now you just add 3 to both sides just like we did before. और आपके पास रिजल्ट आ जाएगा x equals four minus four plus three which is negative one तो आपका सल्यूशन जो आया इस इक्वेशन का एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू इक्वेशन जो आपको सॉल्व करने को दी थी x equals seven and x equals minus one तो ये दोनों नंबर्स जो हैं seven और minus one अगर आप अपनी ओरिजिनल इनक्वालिटी में डालेंगे तो आपका सही रिजल्ट आएगा यू विल गेट अ ट्रू स्टेटमेंट बेसिकली � so here's another example. I will write it on the screen. Example is the absolute value of 3x minus 2 is equal to the absolute value of 5x plus 4. This is a very interesting example. Why? This is because you have an equation, but on both sides you have absolute values. We have seen that on the first side there was an absolute value, on the other side there was only 4 by itself, no absolute value. Now you have two absolute value equations, no absolute value. Now you have two uh, absolute value uh, quantities equating each other, equal to each other. So how do we tackle this? Um, a simple si baat hai ke you can always work with the definition. Yani aap, uh, aise kar sakte hai ke you take uh, the first part which is 
3 x minus 2 and take 3 x minus 2 and the absolute value and apply the definition of absolute value to this quantity or then expand it and do all the algebra and you will get it all worked out nicely. Uh, I will let you do that as an exercise. <clears throat> the student should always have uh, something to do so I will let you do that. Uh, I am sure you are enjoying uh, uh, all this extra work I give you. Uh, Lekin uh, I will make it easy for you actually. I will show you how to do it in a simpler way. Because uh, in mathematics there is a concept that you want to take shortcuts whenever you can. That's why I was a teacher the, uh, when I was in America. Uh, my differential equations course mein. he used to say that a good mathematician is a lazy mathematician so I hope you take that to heart and you know use it to good purpose we shouldn't get lazy for uh, you know for wrong purposes but whenever we can uh, we should be for good purposes so ye to ek badi simple si baat we should be lazy mathematicians fine uh, using that let's see if we can actually uh, I can show you a quick way to do this exam this problem uh, you note ki jay ke if you have uh, two numbers uh, in the absolute value and they're equal to each other if the absolute value of two numbers is equal to each other then those two numbers inside the absolute value have to differ only in sign or they must be equal and for example let me screen pap dekhye absolute value of four is equal to the absolute value of four of course uh, and also notice that absolute value of 4 is equal to the absolute value of negative 4. So, this is the same thing that I have said that if two numbers absolute value are equal, then this is the same number, or if it differs, then it will be the same. Just by this example, also, I think it should be clear what I mean. So, this is the same rule, this fact, how can we solve this problem, this example? Ko solve karne mein? Well, very simply, note ki jiye ke, uh, <coughs> jo original problem thi usme left hand side quantity jo absolute value mein hai, wo barabar hai to the right hand side quantity in the absolute value. So, aap keh sakte hai ke jo ek side se agar aap absolute value hatayenge, to it will be equal to the other one or it will differ by a sign. So, basically what I am saying is ke on the screen you will see right now that 3x minus 2 is equal to 5x plus 4 or 3x minus 2 is equal to minus of the quantity 5x plus 4. So, this is just the same uh, you know rule that I followed that uh, we just saw earlier with the 4 and negative 4. So, ye to bada asaan ho gaya kaam. We do not have to use the definition of absolute value and I am being a good mathematician, being a lazy mathematician. So, in dono equations ko hum solve karte hai to uh, hama paas result aa jayega jo hum dhoonna cha rahe hai x ki values ka. So, aayye screen pe dekhte hai ki kaise hum karte hai isko. So, hama paas result aayega uh, 3x minus 5x in the first case, which we first equation, the result we can move 5x ko move kar sakte on the left hand side and the rest of constants we can take on the right side. So, we get 3x minus 5x is equal to 4 plus 2. Uh, baad, do the algebra you get or the arithmetic you get minus 2x equals 6 or per simply divide both sides by the appropriate numbers to get x equals minus 3. So, <laughs> this was a very quick way. Thi. Uh, para part to at least we solve kar liya. Similarly, we can next part bhi kar sakte hai, and I will leave it up to you as an exercise. Simple algebra hai, and I think you can do it. But the point is that we can appreciate the, the, the idea of being a lazy mathematician. Because uh, the fun is that we are lazy mathematician. But you notice that being, in being lazy, you are actually being uh, very ingenious and you have to do a lot of thinking. So, I hope you keep that in mind when you try to be lazy in terms of doing mathematics. Aage ab next topic aata hai, uh, bada important fact, ek uh, fact hai, jiske baare mein baat karte hai. Uh, iske fact ke andar relationship batai jati hai between the absolute value of a real number and the positive square root of a real number. Ab yaha pe thora sa review karte hai ke what is a square root and what is a positive square root. Uh, note ki jiye ke if I give you a number say, for example, ye screen pe mein aapko dikhata hoon bhi. A equals B square. Yes, similarly, we can say B square equals A. For example, if we say that A equals 9, then the question is, okay, what should B be in order to satisfy this above equation that we just wrote down? So, it's a very simple answer. B must be equal to 3. Because if I square 3, ko square karta hon, to I have A ki value aa jati in 9. But we have to be careful. Here, be careful because ki note ki ji B ki core value ho sakti hai, which is minus 3. And that also works because if you square minus 3, you also get 9. So, so basically the point is that every positive real number has two square roots. 
तो ये दो स्क्वेयर रूट हम डिनोट कैसे करते हैं वील राइट इट डाउन सिम्बॉलिकली वील से स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ ए इसके दो वैल्यूज होती हैं दो स्क्वेयर रूट्स होते हैं हर नंबर के और उनको हम ऐसे लिखते हैं सिंबल इसका स्क्रीन पे भी आपके पास आ रहा है स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ पॉजिटिव स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ ए एंड द नेगेटिव स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ ए इसमें uh, बस सिंपल सी बात यह है लेकिन याद रखने की कि स्क्वेयर रूट uh, जो है वो दो वैल्यूज होती हैं एक पॉजिटिव और एक नेगेटिव अब कंसिडर uh, करते हैं द स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वेयर तो वॉट इज दैट गोइंग टू बी यानी नोट कीजिए कि अगर मैं स्क्रीन पे जैसे लिखा है कि स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वेयर और मैं कहता हूँ ये बराबर है ए के वुड आई बी राइट इन सेइंग दैट वुड आई बी करेक्ट टू से दैट इसके बारे में थोड़ा सोचते हैं लेट्स लुक एट द स्क्रीन एंड सी व्हाट वी आर सेइंग अगर मैं कहता हूँ कि स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वेयर इज ए तो द स्टेटमेंट बेसिकली इज सेंग द पॉजिटिव स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ द स्क्वेयर ऑफ ए नंबर इज इक्वल टू दैट नंबर बट इज दैट करेक्ट so let's take an example what happens if a equals negative 4 well if we take that a equals negative 4 and plug it into the original equation we have on the screen we will get square root the positive square root of minus 4 quantity squared is equal to the square positive square root of 16 which is equal to 4 but that's not equal to a remember a was negative 4 so this is certainly not uh, a true statement I mean, there must be something wrong with this statement we just wrote down, which is that the positive square root of a square equals a. So, let's see that maybe we can modify it somehow and see if we can get some more information out of it. So, going back to the screen, we have written the original equation. It is a true mathematical statement. So, we write it on the screen as theorem 1.2.2. Theorem says that for any real number a, the positive square root of a square is equal to not just that number but the absolute value of that number a that is for every real number a the absolute value of a is equal to the positive square root of a square misal ke taur pe hum kehte hain ki square root of negative 4 the positive square root of negative 4 quantity squared is equal to the positive square root of 16 which is equal to 4 which is also equal to the absolute value of minus 4 by definition of absolute value lehaza that's a true statement so ye kuch uh, ek again it's a technical point um, but which is a very important technical point it's not just something we can you know ignore to ye ek bahut powerful theorem hai it actually helps us in uh, proving many things later on in calculus jab hum derivatives ki baat karenge to we'll use this result a lot to find the derivative of some functions and stuff like that uh, isko phir se dekhiye aur gaur kare iske upar aur apne aap ko convince kare that that's a true statement अच्छा अब एक और थ्योरम आपके सामने स्क्रीन पे आ रहा है इस लेक्चर में थ्योरम्स बहुत से एंड आई जस्ट थ्रो देम एट यू वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली सो आई होप यू डोंट माइंड सो हेज अनदर वन ऑन द स्क्रीन थ्योरम 1.2.3 इफ ए एंड बी आर रियल नंबर्स देन फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ नेगेटिव ए इज इक्वल टू द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ ए Uh, basically that's saying that a number and its negative have the same absolute value well obviously that's true just by you know what we know intuitively about absolute value statement number b says the absolute value of the product of two numbers say we have two numbers a times b then we take the absolute value of that it's equal to the product of the individual absolute values of a and b so basically it's saying the absolute value of a product is the product of the absolute value uh, absolute values and statement c says that the uh, if you have two real numbers a and b and you divide them you take their quotient or the, you take their ratio then the absolute value of that ratio is going to be uh, the ratio of the individual absolute values uh, before we try to prove this thing let's look at a few examples to understand ki ye kya kya raha hai theorem so here's an example of the first statement uh, absolute value of -4 is the same thing as the absolute value of 4 we use this result remember to prove something else earlier uh, simply uh, to to actually solve the uh, equation we earlier saw earlier to ye ek badi simple se example thi iski uh, part b ke liye let's take the example 2 times -3 is the the result of that is -6 and if i take the absolute value of that i get 6 but that is exactly the same thing as the product of absolute value of 2 multiplied by the absolute value of negative 
which is 2 times 3 again and the result is 6. And for uh, part number C, let's look at the example of uh, the absolute value of 5 over 4. Well, the absolute value of 5 over 4 is, first of all, just 5 over 4, right? But remember, 5 is the same thing as absolute value of 5, and 4 is the same thing as absolute value of 4. So we get 5 over 4 equals absolute value of 5 divided by absolute value of 4, which is, again, just equal to 5 over 4. So that's also a true statement. And by example, we have seen you've gotten a, a flavor of what that theorem is saying. So let's see some proof of this theorem. Okay, on the screen, you can see the theorem of proof part A. It's a very simple proof. That uh, the absolute value of negative a is equal to uh, the positive square root of negative a squared, which is the same as the positive square root of a squared. But that's just equal to the absolute value of a from theorem 1.2.2, which we saw earlier. So this is a big deal. You can see that 1.2.2 is such an important theorem hai and why we actually use it uh, many times in proving other proofs. Uh, Proof of part B is on the screen, and I will let you look at it and convince yourself of that. अच्छा इसमें देखिए part B का जो proof था इसमें हमने division part C का जो proof है इसमें division involved है. लेकिन हम implicitly assume कर रहे हैं कि B जो denominator है वो zero के बराबर कभी नहीं है. नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि ज़ाहिर है remember from the first lecture के division by zero is not allowed, and if B was equal to zero then we'll be in trouble. So we'll ignore that uh, case where b equals 0. And we will talk about b uh, or division by 0 not allowed. Uh, here I will write some results. Mein likhna ga, ke part b, jo, by the way, of theorem 1.2.3, you can also generalize this. We have the product of two real numbers. If I have the product of n real numbers, hai, yani, I have n many numbers, a1 to a subscript n. Uh, so, if I have product jo agar main loon, under absolute value, so I will get the absolute value of a subscript 1 multiplied by a sub 2 all the way to a sub n will equal to the absolute value of all individual numbers. And you can see this on the screen. This is the proof bhi hai, aap kar sakte uh, Of course, it's a true fact. I'll let you prove it. Maybe you can use. Uh, uh, part B of the previous theorem as reference and prove this. Or A core result jo hai wo ye hai ke ji, the absolute value of A raised to the power n is the same as the absolute value of A raised to the power n. Again, I'll let you have fun with this and prove it yourself. Achha, ab absolute value ko thoda sa concrete kar lete Abhi tak to humne isko definition dekhi iski theoretical abstract level pe humne baat ki ke absolute value hota kya hai. Uh, let's see if we can make it concrete. Zahira, we want to look at applications also. So, in uh, this absolute value, jo hai, wo distance fastle ki jab hum baat karte hai, real life, when we measure fastle naapte hai, ya distance measure karte hai, to absolute value comes uh, in naturally, it plays a very natural role. And what is the Note ki jai, ki absolute value, which we defined, we said that the absolute value of a number is always positive, really. That's what the absolute value did. So, Maksad absolute value ko istamal karne ka in terms of measuring distance ye hai ke the absolute value of a number is always positive, positive and so is the distance between two points. Misal ke taur pe agar mein Islamabad se Lahore jaysa aata hoon yaha pe agar mein lecture dene ke liye. To when I travel from Islamabad to Lahore, I travel 300 kilometers approximately. Or mera jo odometer hai on the car reads 300 kilometers once I get to Lahore. Ab when I start moving back towards Islamabad from Lahore, uh, I set my odometer zero zero pe set kar leta so again my odometer reads 300. Uh, yeah, if I would have my odometer would have read 600 kilometers by the time I reached Islamabad. So the reason is when I move back to Islamabad, uh, distance is measured in positive uh, values always. There is no such concept of negative, and there is no reference in terms of negative dis distance. Ke pehle kaun sa aata hai, baad mein kaun sa aata hai. So again, distance is always positive. Similarly, so, uh, so is absolute value, and we'll see how we can define distance in terms of absolute values. So let's see how that's done. Uh, screen play, you can see. Let's define it as. Hamare paas, uh, say we have two points, capital A and capital B. Let's call it A and B. And the coordinates on those two uh, points are the numbers A and B, small a and small b. Uh, because distance is non-negative, which is well, we said it's positive, but really. It's non-negative because it may be zero. I mean, if the same 
if you measure the distance between the same point A and A, you just get the distance as zero. So we'll allow the fact that distance could be zero. And so by that, keeping that in mind, we have that the distance between A and B is defined as, or is going to be, uh, B minus A if A is less than B. It's going to be A minus B if A is greater than B. And it's going to be zero if the two points equal uh, to each other, which is exactly what I said a while ago. Uh, in the first case, B minus A is positive, so B minus A is equal to the absolute value of B minus A. Uh, just by definition, right? We all know that if, if you have a positive number, the absolute value is always positive. Similarly, in the second case, uh, if uh, we have where we have a is greater than b, b minus a would be negative because a is greater. Uh, so a minus b will equal minus of b minus a, and that just happens to be the absolute value again of b minus a. Thus, in all cases, we have the following result: theorem 1.2.4, and we call it the distance formula. We will write it down. If A and B are points on a coordinate line with coordinates A and B, small a and B, respectively, then the distance between D, between A and B, is defined as D equals the absolute value of B minus A. Uh, this formula, all, which is actually given to you on the screen, provides a useful geometric interpretation of some common math mathematical expressions. And uh, here we will write which common mathematical expressions in the table. Mein. Uh, ye aapke samne bhi aayega, screen pe. Achha ji, to ye to table aapke samne aa gaya. Iske andar kuch uh, simple facts humne dale hain, kuch uh, uh, geometric interpretations bhi hain, absolute values ki or distances ki. To isko aap uh, horse dekhiye, uh, convince yourself of these facts and do some examples that might be helpful in terms of understanding these concepts. Achha, isi table mein hum uh, dekhte hain kuch absolute value uh, inequalities hain. Yani misal ke taur pe humare paas hai absolute value of x minus a is less than k. For example, yeah, similarly, this case, jo hai, opposite case, wo hai ki ji, x minus a absolute value is greater than k. Uh, yahan pe a or k jo hai, wo real numbers hai, or x is just a variable. So, uh, this kind of inequalities we will see in the mathematics of mathematics. So, let's do some examples of these. Let's see if we can solve them. So, here's uh, some examples of these types, which uh, we will see on the screen. Pe let's look at them. Uh, pehli example hai, solve x minus 3 absolute value less than 4. Uh, isko agar aap table mein refer karein, jo abhi thodi dher pahle screen pe aaya tha, to note ki ji, you can rewrite this inequality as uh, negative 4 is less than x minus 3 quantity, and that is less than 4. Uh, we solved an inequality like this in the first lecture, agar aapko yaad ho. To usi tarikhe se hum isko solve kar lete hain, aur wo tarikhe ye hai ki agar hum add if we add 3 throughout the inequality, we will be left with x is between negative 1 and 7. Or that will be your solution. That, I mean, that exactly is going to be your solution to the inequality. So the numbers between negative 1 and 7 are the numbers which, if you plug into the original inequality, will satisfy that inequality or make it true. And you can try that, actually. And, and the result can also be written as interval notation as parentheses negative 1, comma 7. This figure you can see with this uh, result, ki, geometric interpretation with this result. Okay, so this example uh, we have seen So I hope you have enjoyed it, you enjoy it. I know you are enjoying it so far, right? It's all very, lot of fun stuff. So since you are enjoying it so far, let's do another one. So let's do another example and see, uh, just to make it, you know, this whole idea much more clearer. Examples karne ka or practice ka, uh, Maksad ye hota hai ki mathematics mein practice is very essential. So the more you do, the more you learn and the better you get at math. So ek aur uh, is tarah se example karte hain taaki aapki practice ho jai and hopefully you'll get a better grasp of the whole idea that we're trying to convey. Aayi next example dekhte hain. Achha ji, to example hai aapke saamne solve the absolute value of x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 2. अच्छा तो इसको कैसे सॉल्व करेंगे यानी हम ऐसे सॉल्यूशंस ढूंढ रहे हैं ऐसी वैल्यूज ढूंढ रहे हैं x की के सच दैट अगर इसके अंदर हम डालते हैं इस एब्सोल्यूट uh, वैल्यू में तो रिजल्ट ट्रू आता है तो अब जो टेबल था हमारे सामने पहले हमने देखा था थोड़ी देर पहले उसको अगर आप रेफर करें फिर से तो आपकी बुक में भी दिया हुआ है तो अभी हेल्पफुल होगा इफ यू कैन कीप इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू राइट नाउ तो नोट कीजिए कि जो इनइक्वालिटी दी हुई इसको आप दो तरीके से लिख सकते हैं uh, first of all, x plus 4 is less than or equal to negative 2 or 
x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 2. ये definition जो table में दी उसके हिसाब से हमने expand किया इसको. अब देखिए कि अगर मैं subtract करूँ 4 इन दोनों में से ऊपर नीचे जो लिखी हुई है uh, inequalities, तो uh, subtract 4 from throughout the inequalities, uh, both the top and the bottom one, then I will get the result x is less than or equal to negative 6 or x is greater than or equal to minus 2. Uh, इसको अगर हम interval notation में लिखें, uh, जो हम देख चुके हैं पहले लेक्चर में तो रिजल्ट हम लिखेंगे कि पहला जो है कि x is less than or equal to minus 6 तो वो बेसिकली कहने का तरीका ये है कि आप minus infinity से कहीं से शुरू हो रहे हैं और आप 6 पे जाके रुक जाते हैं इसमें equality allowed है remember तो इसको आप लिख सकते हैं interval को parentheses negative infinity to minus 6 bracket क्योंकि 6 included है और next वाले का आप लिख सकते हैं x is greater than or equal to uh, negative 2 को uh, notation में इसको इस तरह से interpret कीजिए कि आप minus two से शुरू कर रहे हैं और positive side पे यानी greater numbers ढूंढ रहे हैं उससे ये equal to uh, greater numbers तो वो होंगे all the way to positive infinity तो इसका interval बनेगा bracket negative two क्योंकि equality allowed है comma positive infinity parentheses अच्छा क्योंकि आपको solution दोनों का चाहिए और statement थी यानी पहले का solution या दूसरे का तो आप इसको union के तौर पे लिख सकते हैं union of these two intervals so geometrically speaking, इसमें ये note कीजिए कि आपने जो अभी solve की inequality, इसका एक और तरीके से geometrically interpret करने का तरीका ये है कि screen पे अगर आप फिर से देखें तो इसका तरीका है, इसको कह सकते हैं आप कि the solution for this inequality, पहले तो इसको आप ऐसे rewrite कीजिए as absolute value of x minus the quantity minus four is greater than or equal to two. तो इसको अगर आप इस तरह से देखें तो नोट कीजिए कि the, the, the solution of this inequality consists of all x whose distance from minus 4 is 2 units or more. और geometrically अगर आप इसकी देखें टेबल में जाके रिफर कीजिए बल्कि यहाँ पे भी मैं x की तस्वीर बना रहा हूँ. तो this is exactly what this inequality stands for. अच्छा जी, ये तो आपकी example हो गई. अच्छा मेरे हाल से examples तो काफी हो गई हैं. Uh, I hope this also was, uh, you know, a good example, कुछ understanding थोड़ी बेहतर हुई होगी. Uh, again, वही बात है कि जितनी practice करेंगे आप, when you do the homework for this section, तो it will be much better. तो please कोशिश कीजिए कि you do the homework and hopefully this will make more sense. I'm sure it's making sense right now also. Uh, मैं सिर्फ ऐसी कह रहा था. But you know, it's good to remind students all the time. अच्छा, अब हम आखर आखरी topic देखते हैं इस lecture का. Uh, the triangle inequality. Very important fact, very important theorem. Uh, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle physics may hai quantum physics mein agar aapko yaad ho to it exactly it's actually a direct result of this inequality to aaiye dekhte hain ye kya hai aapki screen pe bhi aata hai the triangle inequality uh, iska thoda sa uh, pehle to kuch general background le lijiye uh, triangle inequality ki jo motivation hai iske piche wo ye hai ke note kijiye ke the absolute value of two real numbers a plus b is the same as the absolute value of uh, the individual numbers added together. For example, if A equals 2, hai, B equals minus 3, then A plus B will be minus 1. And when we take the absolute value, then it will minus 1 absolute value, ho jayegi, which is equal to 1. If you look at the individually, the absolute values, yani absolute value of A plus the absolute value of B, the result is absolute value of 2 plus the absolute value of minus 3 which is equal to 2 plus 3 which is 5. अच्छा जी तो ये example से साफ़ जाहिर हो गया कि जो result अभी जो हमने statement लिखी थी कि absolute value of a plus b is equal to absolute value of uh, the sum individually यानी absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b in general ये सही नहीं है it's not always true some cases it may be but in, you know, in general it's not true but what is true is the triangle inequality uh, अभी मैंने थोड़ी देर पहले जिक्र किया इसका कि बहुत ही important inequality है तो आइए देखते हैं कि ये है क्या तो ये स्क्रीन पे आपके अभी आ रही है इसका छोटा सा मैं मे बी प्रूफ तो आपको मैं पूरा दूंगा बट वील जस्ट लुक एट इट यू नो सुपरफिशियली एंड आई लेट यू वर्क आउट द डिटेल्स तो स्क्रीन पे आपके थ्योरम आ रहा है ट्रायंगल इनइक्वालिटी इनइक्वालिटी थ्योरम 1.2.5 ट्रायंगल इनइक्वालिटी इफ ए एंड बी आर एनी रियल नंबर्स देन द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ ए प्लस बी is less than equal to the absolute value of A plus the absolute value of B. So, let's prove this. In general, this is not always equal. 
इट मे बी इक्वल समटाइम्स बट इन जनरल इज लेस देन दैट तो आइए इसका प्रूफ देखते हैं अच्छा जी तो इसको प्रूफ करने के लिए आ, हम इस्तेमाल करेंगे एक फैक्ट जो काफी शुरू में हमने देखा था वी सॉ दिस लॉट अर्ली इन दिस लेक्चर दैट दी एनी गिवन रियल नंबर ए इज बिटवीन द नेगेटिव ऑफ इट्स एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू एंड द पॉजिटिव ऑफ इट्स एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू एंड आई होप यू कन्विंस योर सेल्फ ऑफ दिस एंड यू कैन प्रूव दिस ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू Uh, इसका प्रूफ कैसे करेंगे आइए एक प्रूफ देखते हैं इसका uh, इसका प्रूफ कुछ ऐसे है कि जो इन इक्वालिटी अभी मैंने लिखी थी लेट्स कंसिडर दैट वी नो दैट द नेगेटिव ऑफ द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज बिटवीन इज लेस देन इक्वल टू ए एंड दैट इज लेस देन इक्वल टू द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड द नेगेटिव वैल्यू ऑफ नेगेटिव एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज लेस देन इक्वल टू बी एंड दैट लेस देन इक्वल टू द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ बी पॉजिटिव वन Uh, if we add these two together, we get the following result. It's on the screen. I will let you work out the details yourself. I hope uh, it'll make sense. ये आप इसको अपने आप खुद देख लीजिए और convince हो जाइए. Moving on. Since A and B were real numbers, adding them will also result in a real number. Obviously, right? Well, there are two types of real numbers. What are they? Well, <laughs> either they are bigger than equal to zero. or they're less than 0 so that is why we have that the apps, the the uh, sum of a plus of a and b a plus b is greater than equal to 0 or a plus b is less than 0 uh ab iski mazid details aap khud kar lijiyega uh iski maine likh di hai screen pe i hope you can do that and convince yourself of this uh so the result is that in gen in general absolute value of a plus b is less than equal to the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b so i hope you like this triangle inequality i know ye humne thoda jaldi jaldi cover kiya lekin ye tha maqsad ke it's a well established result it's an old proof very important thing so it must not be wrong but to convince yourself again this is your part as a student that you see the result the proof and you go over it through it and convince yourself by examples or in general that this is true uh so ab ye tha hamara lecture number 2 isko thoda sa khatam karte hue dekh lete hain ki humne kya kya baatein ki in general aaj aaj humne sabse pehle to absolute values dekhe ki what is define ki absolute value kya hoti hai phir humne uh, absolute value aur distance ke darmiyan relationship dekhi ki how can we talk about distance in terms of absolute value phir humne kuch inequality solve ki jisme absolute value involved thi uh, saath hi humne kuch equalities bhi ki uh, jisme absolute values involved thi तो वी सो हाउ टू सॉल्व दैम और सबसे आखिर में हमने सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट ट्राइंगल इन इक्वालिटी देखी जो कि अभी आखिर में देखी हमने एंड आई होप यू अप्रिशिएटेड दी दी नाइस थिंग अबाउट दैट मे बी यू डोंट डू इट राइट नाउ बट इवेंचुअली यू विल व्हेन यू सी हायर एंड बेटर रिजल्ट्स इन मैथमेटिक्स तो ये आज का लेक्चर था इसको यहीं ख़त्म करते हैं मेरी अब रवानगी है इस्लामाबाद की तरफ वापस तो लेट्स होप दैट माई ऑडोमीटर ऑन माई कार रीड 300 हंड्रेड एक्चुअली फाइ सेट टू जीरो और सिक्स हंड्रेड टोटल क्योंकि अगर नहीं होगा तो फिर आई प्रॉब्ली फाइंड माई सेल्फ इन कोहे काफ सी नेक्स्ट टाइम अल्लाह हाफिज़